Started infusions second week in November. Nine weeks later, now he's already started college. He's a freshman now at this point in college. I found a roommate who was a huge help. Uh, he's a football player, his name is Mario, and he could pick Jet up and do his care, and he's very, very attentive to Jet to make sure that he had, had uh, help eating, finding classrooms, things like that. So, uh, and Jet would go to school Monday through Thursday, and I would take him for infusions starting in November on Fridays. Uh, so nine weeks into infusions, um, Mario brought him home on that Thursday afternoon. And I, Mario didn't really say much, didn't know anything really about Duchenne other than, and I didn't even tell Mario that this was progressive, I just didn't want to put that in his mind. I'm just like, he has a form of muscular dystrophy, he's going to need some help, these are the things you're going to need to do. So Mario came in, I said, hey Mario, how's everything going? He goes, you know what's going great. I said, what's going great? He said, well, we're sleeping better at school. I said, well, who's sleeping better at school? He goes, well, I'm sleeping better because Jet stopped snoring. I said, what? He said, yeah, you know, the beginning of the year, I didn't sleep for the first month. And I know how Jet snores. He has sleep apnea. He's having difficulty at night breathing. They recommended that he go on some BiPAP, but he refused. He didn't want something else on him or another piece of machinery, especially going into college. I had to... I, had to abide by what his wishes were. So later that night, Jet went to bed. I crept downstairs about two o'clock in the morning and I sat in his room for about two hours. And I listened. Jet used to snore so loud that my other four children would say, Mom, we know he's got Duchenne, but you know, put a pillow over it. Like, stop it. He's keeping us all awake. And seriously, he went from having the loudest snore to just a low rumble. The sleep apnea, I could tell right away, had gotten better. His breathing was normal, as close to normal as it's ever been. So nine weeks, um, I started telling people about it, people that were close to the company. I said, you know, you're going to see your biggest changes in your sickest patients. It was the first time that I actually realized that we're going to start to see developments that early. A week later, I'm not sure if you're going to want to put this on film. A week later, my fourth son came into the kitchen and sat down, and he's 18 years old, 19 years old. He says to me, uh, Mom, I have something to tell you. And I said, what? And he said, well, don't be mad. I'm like, okay, tell me what it is. He said, well, you know last Saturday night when Jet had his friends over? I said, yeah. He says, well, you know, they were down in the basement and they were drinking beer. I said, oh, yeah, I could tell. When Jed came upstairs in his power chair and I went to put him into bed, he was driving down the hallway in his chair like this. I said, I could tell. He said, yeah, it's not that um, I had a problem with him drinking the beer, Mom. The, the thing was, he started opening his beer himself. And whenever we've hung out with the kids before and had beer in the basement, you know, he would um, always ask me to open his beer because he couldn't do it. And I was always able to control how much beer he had. He said the other night, he was reaching over, grabbing them, and opening themselves. And didn't even really need a straw to drink it. I said, really? Yeah. So again, it, it, it gave me, um, it angered me to know that he was beginning to gain skills. Um, that he could have, if we had just given it a chance two years ago. Um, how many more skills would he have gained back? So fast forward to today, he's actually uh, having his infusion now. He's 43 weeks. Uh, his roommate is noticed at school. He, he no longer has to help him eat. Uh, Jet gets around the campus completely by himself. He's got a, he can either hit the elevator button or he's got a stick, a small stick that will help him hit the elevator button to, to access all of his classrooms. Um, if his roommate leaves his, uh, the computer, his laptop on, a, on the desk, Jack can reach over and get it and put it on. Um, so interestingly enough, those are all little subtle measurements of independence and improvement that you can't necessarily capture too, right? In a six minute walk test or in a pulmonary function test. Um, but there are improvements in his life that have really changed him and given him, given me hope, but also given him a new perspective and a new leash lease on life. Um, 
But to have to wait two years and to have progressed that much more in the two years, who knows what we could have done if we had given it two years earlier. That's the part that makes me angry. So we know that um, FDA will be reviewing the data shortly uh, during an advisory committee panel. And I really hope that that advisory committee panel understands um, that it's not all about the hard facts, the hard data that present, that Sarepta will obviously present during their presentation, but it's really about those subtleties, su subtle, subtleties in patients' lives and that the six minute walk test and some of the other uh, functional endpoints aren't going to pick up, they're not sensitive enough to pick up on the quality of life issues that Jet's experiencing as well as the other kids in the trial, especially the safety trial. Um, I hope that they don't delay another day in approving this drug. Uh, there's other kids' lives out there that we have to change. And if, um, and if we can get these drugs approved using the accelerated pathway approval, or using the um, accelerated approval pathway, we'll end up having a whole lot more pharma jump into the space because they realize that there's a way to actually get drugs approved, to get reimbursed, um, and yet we'll be on more drugs in the future. This is a, a foundational drug. It produces dystrophin. So what else can we add on top of that combinatorial-wise to make him um, maybe an antifibrotic, maybe another anti-inflammatory uh, to really enhance his life and improve it and keep him alive?